Don't steal my frickin' Wi-Fi! Who needs WPA when I got a shotgun? <laughs> That's All what right. I say. Well, hopefully you guys like that skit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for this costume. Uh, I'm, I'm alive now that I'm in the Yay. studio. I don't have to be a zombie anymore. <laughs> That's all right. So this is a Two Smart Guys production. We are doing a Halloween special again. Yes. Uh, this is our second attempt at <laughs> a live broadcast, and this time we should have audio. Audio, audio. <laughs> Just had to make sure. Yeah, we're using a um, product called Boinks TV. Yes, to switch, which to is switch. a web switcher. Yeah, so that's what brought up the title and stuff. And, uh, and then from there, we have the output being grabbed by... Raster Grabber. <laughs> which is then being sent over to... Uh, the QuickTime Broadcaster. Which is broadcasting to... Justin TV. Woo! Justin.tv slash two smart guys. Oh, uh, yeah. If you... uh, anyway, so yeah, it's our Halloween episode, and if, I don't know if you could see it very well on this camera, but this looks better in person. And in, in the in, dark. In the dark, complete darkness. But what we have here is a little heart beating that's playing on an iPhone. Close up. Oh, Which one? Yeah, uh, three. No, of you. Oh, of me? Yeah. Two. <laughs> no, that's wide. Oh, one. Okay. <laughs> so this is this is a, you know, just a video that we loaded up on the iPhone playing oh, beating, heart. beating heart. Oh, thump. Thump. And then we've got this little octopus cable that we rigged up with LEDs and fish filter tubing and water. And then we have our battery LED pack for for power. Organ. Yeah, an LED organ. Right there. No jokes about me pulling an organ. <laughs> You don't want to set it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> this is live, so I guess I can't take it out. <laughs> <laughs> or take it back. <laughs> and there's two viewers, so we've got witnesses. <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> of course, one of them is us. Um, so, yeah, so this is the LED organ. Um, we'll go ahead and get a better look at this right here. So you can't see it in here because we've got, like, a whole bunch of really bright halogen lights. But you can kind of see it if we angle it right. But the idea was that uh, the LED organ would pulse in time to the heartbeat, and so it would turn on and off the lights like it was pumping blood. Yes. So um, due to time constraints, we didn't get it quite how we wanted. But with you know enough time and preparation, somebody could alter this setup to come up with a better, better costume tech. Yeah. <laughs> and we have some ideas about how to do that later on. Yeah. But if so, you want to go ahead and queue up the segment on how we put this bad boy together. Yes, yes. Kay. So um, we'll Three viewers, and... holy shit. <laughs> Can people chat? <laughs> All right, so here's, here's, the, here's the segment. We had to, we were testing uh, the output of the headphone jack for the iPhone. Yeah, because so my, my initial idea was why don't we just stick an LED on the you know, hook Wired up. straight up to the output because yeah. you could do that with speaker wires. Right, right. With speaker wires, you can do that. But... You can stick LEDs right on a speaker wire. But apparently, that's not the right it's not kind the same of case. power. No. So it's, the it's... headphone jack output is a lot different than a, the speaker wire going straight to a speaker. Yeah, so that, that wasn't going to work. So, well, first of all, for our idea to work, we need LEDs. And we found out very quickly that these don't work. Yeah, don't use these ones. The power is like minute. <laughs> yeah, not the, the, the luminosity. The luminosity was is like too low. like 50 MCDs. The ones that we ended up picking later on were 5,500. And they make red ones that are like uh, 12 or 15,000. So the brighter you can find, the better. It's just yeah, so our this is what our Radio Shack Yeah, had. our Wyoming Radio Shack was limited on parts. <laughs> And then here's the most important this part. This is the key. In fact, the whole thing works with just this. Yes. But not very well. You can hook up one, but it's, it's, it's iffy. 
And we don't know how it works, uh, technically speaking. We just know that it does work. It's an <laughs> audio output transformer. And it, it, it basically is, is changing the voltage or the power that's coming out of the speaker jack into a power that can power the LEDs. According to the wiki entry on audio output transformers, it goes from a low impedance to a high impedance. Yes, but uh, if you want to look at this, we'll have links in our show notes to all the stuff that we went over and at twosmartguys.com. Yes. And then after that, uh, we have... we show the breadboard to put it all together on? Yeah, yeah so the we breadboard, have the breadboard and then the, the audio jack. The, yeah, one eighth inch audio jack. So you can just plug from the output of your iPod into or any other or audio device. iPhone or anything. You can do this with anything that has yeah. audio. Plug, uh, yeah, so we mounted that on the breadboard and we plugged it into the, the transformer or the audio? Yes, yes. into the tra audio transformer. So here we are just testing up the LED, make sure it powers up. <laughs> so there's no need for a potentiometer. Yeah, so we probably don't need the potentiometer. But just out of curiosity, what happens when we tweak it? <laughs> Yeah, so the potentiometer does the same thing the volume does on the iPhone. Okay. So if you have something that doesn't have volume control, that's what it's there for. Yeah. So. It works! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that, we got it working there. The first time around, and we were kind of stoked about that. <laughs> And then there's there's this thing that I'm foiling around. <laughs> These are supposed to be the veins. Now, yeah. Now initially we were trying <coughs> to use um, fiber optic cables. Yeah, fiber optic cables, and that that didn't work. The fiber optic cables it could work if we had the right kind of LEDs and we were able to mount it the right way. And yeah. But it was just too tricky. And yeah. so we went and, to, and you had to scuff them up. Yeah. Because like otherwise the light just passed from through the, through it, which is the point. Right. Of the thing. But it, we found if we like cut them up a little bit, they lit up a little bit. Yeah. But if you bent it too much or knocked it too much, then it didn't transmit at all. Yeah. So we went back to the idea of using this... Fish tubes. Fish tubes. This is the, for the air filters, right? Yeah. And fish yeah. tubing. And filled it with water. Yeah. Without water, there was a little bit of light passed through them, but when we put water in it, the... And we found that the, the more bubbles in there, the more it lit up. So we were thinking to fill it with another liquid, like a carbonated drink of some sort, or even a blacklit substance and you can hook on a blacklit LED right. and that would light up even better. Yeah. So, anyways, there's, there's a million possibilities. Yeah. And this like, is... I mean, our friend um, Arden suggested, instead of using uh, tubing, uh, just have it essentially like a, two shirts, one mounted against another with right, a cutout of right. veins. So you can do, what, you can do whatever you want with these lights. We were just trying to think of anything, so we were thinking a heartbeat and do some veins yes. in a shirt. So, I mean, this is just what we came up with. Right yeah. Now. And uh, the LEDs required resistors, so yes. we had to get uh, <clears throat> some little resistors. And we have a link in our show notes of which resistors to use. Yeah, and a link to the actual calculator we used to find out which resistor to use, because we're not electrical engineers. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't obvious by now. And this is the first test with the tubes connected. And we just wired those all in parallel, all the, all the LEDs after we had them all put together with the yeah. heat shrink. We just heat shrinked on the tubes to the LEDs. And uh, that's that. Wow, that's some exciting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so basic concept is there. LED organ hooked up to some lights that you can use uh, in some sort of costume. Yeah. Uh, be it a beating heart, uh, some other organ that pulsates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we'll cut way back to the device. <laughs> so this, this is it. This is our little our little quick hack on a tech Halloween costume. You yes. want to go ahead and open it up? Yeah. Well, while Raggable's opening this up, I'm going to go ahead and explain some ideas that I had for Halloween costumes that you could do. There's there's a there's like I said, I'll put a link to this in the show notes. But there's a Death Becomes Her costume that somebody did. And they were smart enough to put, you know, the same kind of concept, put a screen on the front of them with a hole in it, but hook it up to a live video, like a little miniature camera on their back. So it looked like there was a hole passing through them. And then uh, uh, you could elaborate that on by putting, uh, doing it two ways. So there's a camera on the front and the back and a video screen on the front and back. That way you could go all the way around them and you could see all the way through them. So that, that's one idea. It could work. Another idea that I had 
was to really freak people out <laughs> from a distance. Take a little and get pulled over. L LED projector. Is it LED? LCD projector. LCD, yeah. And uh, show video of like somebody who's looks like they're being like hung or whatever on the road. So it looks like they're dragged behind a car. So you point it outside your vehicle while you're driving down the road, and on the road you're projecting somebody being drugged behind a car. It could be fun. Yeah. Or you know, just play video games. You know, <laughs> play some gears or something on the road. I think that that could be fun. Uh, gears on the road. Yeah. Mm. So those are those are tons of possibilities. So I want to see them, man. I want to see people make some projects this weekend, or this week for this weekend. Okay. So what we have here is a. Uh, Which way do I need to turn it? Towards that camera. That camera. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the audio transformer right there that's hooked up to the iPhone or the. Uh, the headphone jack. And then what we have right here is uh, a read relay, uh, which was a substitute for an SCR, a silicon controlled rectifier, which is essentially just an electrical switch. Yeah, so it, it, what it does is it just switches between, or it, it just triggers. That's what triggers the switch to have the audio go on and off. Yeah. And we got ours backwards. That's all they had. <laughs> well, they yeah, had we were limited. Yeah. So right now ours is turning <clears throat> off when, when there's, there's audio. Some, yes. And when there's not audio, it's on. But you well, ideally you get, want it the other way around. Yeah. So I mean, the way it works is that there's a coil that has uh, that will be the power source. And as power goes across it, it'll cause the switch to open or close. And uh, is there anything else on there? Oh, no, there's the voltage regulator. Oh, we don't need it. <laughs> no, that was not. <laughs> that was needed. an unnecessary part. Unnecessary. So ignore that. And of course, an enclosure. And they sold this at Radio Shack too. And the other uh, part is the potentiometer too. Oh, which. Isn't really necessary. Well, it's helpful. It's helpful. I mean, you can. That's just, uh, essentially what the uh, volume button on the iPhone is doing. But you can always tweak it further with the potentiometer in case your device doesn't have a volume control. Yeah. So it, and it's, it's supposed. Helpful. Yeah. With, with in the diagram when it was hooked up to the SCR, it was supposed to regulate the threshold. But well, you can regulate that yourself on the phone. So. so, anyways, hope you liked our Halloween episode. Yes, <laughs> we'll have a link to the diagram that we modified, um, our substitutions with the Radio Shack part numbers, link to the calculator for which resistor to pick up. Yeah. Um, if you need any more help, uh, we'll start a thread in the forums. You want to post a video too of your heartbeat? Oh yeah, yeah, I can post the video on there if people want to use it. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, anything else? Oh yeah, so if you, if you like the, our format of our new show, I guess we're going to go ahead and try this out for a month. On Wednesdays at 10.30 Mountain Time, which would be 11.30 Pacific Time. Okay. Which is, well, it's more common. <laughs> Very many people live in Mountain Time. No. <laughs> so every Wednesday night, we're going to try and record a show live like this for the next month. See how it goes. It's on a slave a, driver. <laughs> on Justin TV. Justin.tv. Justin.tv. Two smart guys. Yes. Okay. As always, link in our show notes. Um, we still have our regular shows like iPhone Hacking 101, mm -hmm. whatever else, Hacking 101. Any kind of gadgets, anything that you can don't, turn on. Yeah, anything that you can mess with that they don't want you to, or you know, it's just not in the manual, that's what we're going to be covering. That's what we do. So, and then we still have our web series that we're still putting out. Yes. Beyond, um, the, beyond clipping the Clipping Plane. Points. And we're doing a premiere of it at the theaters in our hometown. In our hometown, in <laughs> Riverton, <laughs> Wyoming. It doesn't matter the most. Well, I don't know if anybody, the, the, the person watching this might come. Woo! But uh, we'll do a show on this. This might be next week's episode. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll explain how we hacked the theaters and we hooked up four LCD projectors okay. and we've got them all wired and networked and we have we hooked into the sound system and well, okay. we're having a good time. And we're okay. premiering our web series there. So yes, it's, yes. it's going to be so, a grand old um, time. On that Friday, are we going to release the third episode as, as well? Uh, we're going to premiere it on Thursday. We'll definitely have it on the internet's by Monday for our Monday release day. Premiere it on Friday, you mean? Yeah, or, or Friday. Yeah, we're yeah. going to premiere it this Friday at the theaters, okay. and it'll and it'll be Monday. online by Monday. Okay, normally we're supposed to have it come up today, but yes. we've been busy working on this. 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 <laughs> so, special Halloween, and then after that, the third part, three of three of the pilot part. Yes. So, check it out. Right, that's what you think. Thanks, guys. See you next time. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.